We're really excited. We just got in Bolin Family Wines Pinot Noir from Carneros in California. This is one of a couple shipments of Bolin wines that we're going to get in. And one of the reasons why we're really excited is because right now we're the only place in Rhode Island that has the wines. Fantastic. And yeah, Bolin was a place that Patrick went to visit when he and Nino were in California about a month ago. Um, you yeah, met awesome. Eric Bolin, who owns the vineyard with his family. You know, I spent some time with Eric and his father just kind of talking about their business. Um, they source from fruits and, uh, from some of the best vineyards all over California, Carneros and Napa, and then uh, the two of them team together to make an unbelievable wine. But it was great. I mean, very small production. Uh, the Merlot, which should be coming in about a week or two, is only about 900 cases or so. so and I think not um, much at all. From what I remember, this Pinot, so it's a 2008 Carneros Pinot Noir, label says Rock 3, it's from Bolin. The production is only about two or 300 cases, so really, really small. It's something that they don't even usually release outside of California. So we're trying it, um, not writing tasting notes for you, but showing you tasting notes, what we think, and this is the really hard part of our job. <laughs> oh, so difficult. Yes. <laughs> but I love it. It gives me, um, it's really light in body, but it has a nice kind of cranberry. I get an allspice. I don't know if you guys get that. Yeah, right on the finish. It's very juicy. It's very easy drinking. It's great. Carneros Pinot, it's silky smooth. I mean, food friendly. It's going to be great for the summer with the grilling. Um, if you're grilling any fish, not for Sabrina, but maybe some grilled chicken. Perhaps, you know. <laughs> Sabrina is our non fish lover. I'm not really a seafood person. Terrible Rhode Islander, I know. <laughs> no, I'm even thinking um, actually, I know we already provided our Easter and Passover recommendations um, in our newsletter just in the last couple days, but this would be great for ham or turkey Absolutely. on oh, um, Easter if you're doing that. Um, for um, something heavier like beef or filet, it wouldn't. It probably wouldn't stand up to it, but um, for under $30, this is fantastic. Yeah. And from Carneros, um, cool climate, breeze coming off um, the bay, really nice acidity. It could just I'd be a great wine to, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's very easy to drink. It could be uh, a great wine to start the night. Yeah, grilled you know, salmon. I would, a I would brunch do pinot, how about that? And I, I know <laughs> I like people that like to, like a good idea. Yeah, people like to know, like, what should we pair with the wine? So, um, pinot noir is great with fish. Um, I would do, the fattier fish. You like, like, you like tuna. tuna. Yeah, I like salmon. You don't like fish, so what would you have? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with chicken. <laughs> or actually, I really like the idea of having it with ham. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're all going to end up with leftovers, right? So, I mean, why not make it interesting? <laughs> Definitely. Some really good wine. Honestly, I just want to find a patio right now and just hang out with this glass of wine. <laughs> it finally feels like spring out there. It might yeah. be just the wine to. It's beautiful, to and this weekend's supposed to be gorgeous. 80 plus, mm -hmm. although I won't know. I'm going to France today. Oh, poor so. baby. Always <laughs> Enjoy. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up.